Out of the night they appear, hundreds of people on the move. Their flight into darkness a search for safety. These Syrian men, women and children have walked for hours to reach this Jordanian border point. At the moment they cross, their lives are forever changed. They are now refugees. On this night, Antonio Guterres, the High Commissioner for Refugees, came to the border to witness an exodus that occurs night after night. Parents hold on to their frightened children for fear of losing them. A boy clings to a blanket to keep warm. A disabled woman is wheeled to safety by Jordanian soldiers. A wounded man arrives on a stretcher and is immediately seen by a military doctor. The Jordanian military have helped hundreds of thousands since the beginning of this crisis. Fouaz explains that he was shot three times in his own home in Dara. His wounds are serious but not life-threatening, the doctor tells him. He will be taken by ambulance to a nearby Jordanian hospital to be operated on. These are all scenes of a humanitarian tragedy. Well, I think we are, we are faced tragedy in its most dramatic way. Uh, night after night after night, you see women, children, elderly people, some wounded, uh, many with enormous trauma because of the violence they have suffered, they have lost members of their family, they have lost all their belongings, and they come walking to reach safety here in Jordan. Uh, it's a terrible tragedy, it's horror about this never-ending conflict. This young seven-year-old boy carried his little sister Hitan for much of the way. One month old. The children talk fearfully of planes in the sky, of bombs falling on their villages. For them, the safety of home and school has long gone from their young lives. There are now well over one million Syrian refugees spread across the region in Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey and Iraq. I appeal to parliaments and to governments to approve extraordinary funds uh, to support the Syrian victims, to support the countries that are receiving them, uh, to allow for our humanitarian action to be much more effective than what it is today all fragile countries in need of international support. The toll of the Syrian war is here to see in this nightly exodus of refugees. These families will quickly be registered and bus to Zatri refugee camp. They have escaped the horrors of war, but never the memories. <laughs>